Hi, I'm Angelo, and this is Underrated Bodies. This episode's underrated body, Sir Patrick Stewart. Over a career that has spanned six decades, Patrick Stewart has always maintained the same lean body type, and never once has he ever turned into a Patrick Stewart. Even nowadays, his weight is more consistent than the metric system. The only thing that upstages Patrick Stewart's acting, you motherfuckers are gonna kill all my lilies, is his body. Here he is in a Midsummer Night's Dream. More like a Midsummer Night's Dreamboat, you can tell that when working out, he engages all of his muscles. I bet before he lifts a weight, he probably says, Engage. Bicep. Engage. Tricep. Engage. Back. Engage. Chest. Engage. Before he starts to run. Engage. Basically before he does any form of exercise, he probably says, Engage. His workout routine works so well, you can call him Jean-Luc Picardio. Seeing how great Patrick Stewart's body really is makes you regret the unflattering Starfleet uniforms he had to wear in Star Trek The Next Generation. But check him out here in Star Trek Insurrection. It looks like Sir Patrick Stewart never missed arm day aboard the Enterprise. Check him out here in the movie Safe House from 1998. This movie has everything you could possibly want, considering there's not much of Patrick Stewart you don't get to see. Of course, we get to see his toned arms and back when he's wearing a tank top, but it gets better. I never thought I would get to say this, but check out Sir Patrick Stewart in the shower. I'm sure you've heard of brute strength, but Sir Patrick Stewart is showing off some serious glute strength. And I know he played Professor X, but this is more like Professor Triple X. Look how tight all of his muscles are on his body. Freeze. Let's just take a second to really acknowledge how sculpted his shoulders, biceps, hip cuts, and chest really are. And if this wasn't enough, we get a full shirtless Patrick Stewart fight scene. I really don't know what has better definition, his jawline or his biceps. After the Seahawks won the Super Bowl, he did a one-arm push-up at 73 years old. Imagine what he would have done if Pete Carroll chose to run the ball the following year. Yeah, that was a surprise to everybody. But you know what shouldn't be a surprise? Just how amazing Sir Patrick Stewart's body really is. All I can say is, why the fuck aren't people talking about Sir Patrick Stewart's underrated body? Don't you just love it? Yeah, we do.